PC WizKids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Ubuntu release 10.10, the Maverick Mercat. Okay, well this one here is basically available for free. You can go to ubuntu.com slash getubuntu and download it from there. The requirements to get it up and running, this new operating system, this new release is minimal. You can download the 32-bit or the 64-bit edition for your desktop. I'm downloading the 64-bit. Same thing, same options. Here is the installation after I've downloaded the ISO file and made a uh, mount of that ISO file and I installed uh, Ubuntu through Wubi. And Wubi basically installs Ubuntu like a program. So under your control panel, under the add remove programs, Ubuntu appears there so you can uninstall it easily if you have to. Now, there have been updates in Ubuntu and the desktop edition of course, as well as the other editions, but I'm only looking at the desktop edition today and uh, looking at these new updates here, like I said, going through what's new and checking out basically how fast is it, has the performance improved, um, are the new applications that are installed by default any better, for example, um, the uh, interface, has it been updated, for example, that's another thing that I look for, and um, of course, hardware compatibility is um, my wireless internet, for example, configurable easily. So after I uh, installed it through Wubi, I got the menu and I booted up the machine, chose the Ubuntu option for my menu, which it installed automatically for me. It detected my Windows 7. It knows that my Windows 7 drive is there, so I can access my Windows 7 through Ubuntu, through this operating system. And um, I can go through the menus and basically take a look and see what it has to offer. and a lot of this is still the same, nothing has really been changed uh, in here, but there have been updates to the existing programs, and that's really what 10.10 .10 is all about, right? Not just the engine, but also uh, some programs, right, that have been added in there as well. So it's up to you really to go ahead and install anything that's missing from all these applications. So when I looked at what came with it, they were great, they're fine, but I needed more than what was just there. So under the Get Software option, it allows you to connect to the internet and download for free any open source applications that are available that work in Ubuntu. And it's organized very nicely. They call it departments, so they're categories, right? And you choose what category you want, and then you can search for um, the type of application, utility, whatever that you need. Right? Or if you don't know what you need, you can just type it in here. So for example, I needed a recorder to record the screen. So I typed in recorder, I got to record my desktop, and I installed it. Now I can use that and record the screen and show it to you guys. Same thing for anything else that you're looking for, whether it's an MP3 player, a video player, just select it, install it, put in your password to authenticate, and that's it. Okay, so installing Ubuntu is very simple, very easy. The instructions are on the website. They give you lots of detail, lots of information on how to install it, what to do, the different options, all of that is there. Then after you've got it installed, there's going to be applications, things that are missing that you might want to install. And that's why I'm showing you the Ubuntu Software Center because it's very important to go ahead and install those missing things that uh, you like because maybe you're used to using Windows and you're wondering, okay, well, why isn't it here in Ubuntu? Well, by default, it's not installed, but it doesn't mean it doesn't exist, right? You just need to search for it, need to install it. This is the simplest way. It's like the add remove programs, like the control panel of um, Ubuntu. Now, the other thing that I usually do is go in and configure the effects, right? The appearance, the themes. I make sure that under the additional drivers option, under system, there on the menu, I enable the video card drivers. Okay, so I have an ATI card, so I want to make sure that I activate and install those video drivers. So it automatically connects to the internet, downloads, you restart the computer, that's enabled. Now you've got the driver support. The next thing to do is, of course, enable the effects. And by enabling the effects, I'm talking about the famous um, cube, for example, the 3D cube that rotates might have seen that already. If you haven't, I'll show it to you in a quick second here. I go through the different options, enable the uh, effects, enable all the missing software that I want, and have it all ready. I change the themes, I change the mouse cursor, all of that I've explained actually in previous videos of mine of Ubuntu. 
So if you're new to Ubuntu or if you're not new to Ubuntu and you're wondering why things aren't working, it's pretty much the same in this version. I have applied the same steps that I usually do in previous versions on the same new release. Okay, so there you go, quick run through on the new version of Ubuntu 10.10. .10. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.